Hello, y'all. How y'all doing? I'm just going to get some gas. I want to make a quick video because I know it's been a minute since I've been over here. Uh, but I just watched something and I said, let me go on to see if I can get other people's opinion about this thing. So I, I just discovered somebody on YouTube called, um, well, number one, I didn't even know they had something called the narc sector. Okay. And it's narcissism. That's what that means. Narcissism. Okay. So it's people. I know there were so many ways to talk about narcissism that you can create a whole uh, sector of it, but apparently it is. And there's this one lady who is um, big in that section and her name is Spiritual Whistleblower. Well, um, I literally just discovered this yesterday. I was looking up something else and her name popped up. And uh, so she made a video like two months ago or something where she was telling her followers, and I forget how many subscribers she has, but it's a lot, right? And she writes books and she has a website. She goes speaking and all that stuff. But I, so she was explaining what she was doing on the website. And I'm thinking, I'm like, is that doxing? Yeah, because I wasn't, I wasn't sure because what she's telling, I, I don't know her backstory. Okay. I don't, I just know what I heard her say. And it's, it seems like she's single and her following is four single women. Okay. And, uh, she encourages them to stay single because men are trash, ain't no good. They're all narcissists and all that. Okay. So she is encouraging the, the women to send her pictures of these men that are narcissists. Okay. I guess they're exes. And she's not going to show the face. She said she's going to put like an emoji picture over their face. But she wants details. Like she wants... Wait a minute. Where am I going? Yeah. So she wants to know the, the city and state they live in. She wants to know if they, if they ever gave the women any STDs. And if so, what were they? And uh, what's their profession? Not where they work specifically, but what's their profession? You know, the, the month and day that they were born. Okay. Not the date. So it seems like she's stopping short of privacy information, but but I, I'm wondering, like, is, is that, I don't know. It, because one of the primary things for doxing, right, is the intent, okay? Why the hell are you putting folks' things out here? Now listen, all of y'all, you know, probably have, have a picture or two laying around of, of somebody who you felt, you know, was very narcissistic or something. Um. That, that you could possibly say. But I, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Like, I, I just wouldn't do that. However, because I don't think the people, the, you know, that they're dangerous necessarily, you know. Now, if I thought somebody was like dangerous and would really like physically harm or, or whatever, you know, then that, that's a whole nother stuff. But that's like for the cops or something, you know. I don't know, y'all. I, I, I'm not sure. Because it is important that we find out about people but you know what my problem is? It, it just came to me. My issue is folks lie. You know, everybody that leave you or reject you is not a narcissist. Okay? You probably just not likable or something. You know what I mean? And, and people, there's three sides to every story. I don't know. That just seems weird to me and I, I wasn't sure because I've seen doxing especially on YouTube child I, I've seen it you know and there's no question <laughs> okay <laughs> there's absolutely no question but this one I wasn't sure okay I was not sure uh about so what do y'all think I'm I don't know I don't know but I would be very concerned that you you know you got a whole bunch of bitter bitter people <laughs> a bunch of bitter women okay sitting in photos of their narcissistic uh exes and it sounds like she's just talking to women i don't know she might have some men up in there you know so I, that might be sitting in photos i have no idea but i'm just curious and i just wanted to come on to say hi to y'all because it's been a while since i've been over here but i've been mostly on my um 
my spiritual channel, Life Without a Witness. And then I also have my um, my Everyone Deserves an Epiphany channel, which is my, my learning channel, okay? And I'm getting those things, getting those things together before all this other stuff pop off. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tie up some loose, loose strings. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. And um, I'll be back over here uh, really soon. Okay? Y'all have a good one. Bye.